My name is Maninder Singh Sambi. I'm a vice president here at Google Cloud. I'm really excited to welcome Dave Ward, who's the chief technology officer and chief product officer of Lumen. Dave has been a mentor and a friend for many, many years. Uh, his influence in the networking world has been significant from patents uh, and technologies that he has brought in Cisco, at Lumen, Packet Fabric, and many others. He has basically pioneered the paradigm of network as a service. And we are really lucky indeed to have him join us today. Thanks, Meninder. So kind, such nice words. I can't tell you how excited I am to partner with you, not only over the years, but really about what we want to talk about today. Yes, I. we have the same excitement as well. As we've been discussing, networking is almost at the foundation of anything that is requiring a business transformation. And we are in this very unique era of AI. Any so, thoughts? Yeah, so look, you can't have an AI strategy or an enterprise architecture strategy without a cloud partner, without a data strategy, and most importantly, without a networking strategy to be able to move and connect all the places you need to get to. And right now, we are super excited of actually extending cross-cloud network to the enterprise in the form of cloud van, which extends the power that we built, a fully managed, reliable, secure enterprise backbone that enterprises can now have their employees and users actually connect onto versus having to manage bespoke networks. It provides enhanced application experience with the lowest intra-region latency that we have. We have roughly about 202 Google Pops in the world, and roughly about, uh, we span across 200 plus countries and territories. The premium tier network allows traffic to ingress and egress at the Google Edge closest to the user. One thing that we do really good as part of premium tier is our peering, where we are among the highest peering that we see from a BGP ASN perspective, which makes it possible for Google Cloud customers to now be directly connected to majority of the SaaS applications and to any other cloud. In addition, reliability is top of mind. Five nines is super important. With the two million miles of highly diverse Google Fiber that we have, we can now bring network diversity as well as reliability. Now we can't do this alone. We have to have rich and tightly integrated ISV ecosystem partners as well as telco partnerships. We're really very excited about the partnership with Lumen. So Meninder, I just want to reify everything you said. Um, our enterprise customers, so many of them now are born in the cloud. And, and frankly, if an enterprise today isn't multi-cloud and hasn't really re, hasn't transformed their enterprise such that they're utilizing SaaS clouds, service clouds, private data centers, and then of course, Google, uh, they really just aren't going to match in the, meads, the needs of the economy as they are today. What's really key, you've got two million miles of, of subsea cable and, and connecting your data centers together. We have 22 million miles of Metro Fiber to create direct fiber access into your cloud for enterprise customers. Now we're taking that a step further in innovating with your teams such that what we want to be able to do is take those access, link, access links and that metro access capability and use software-defined networking and have a programmable underlay to match the SD-WAN overlay into. So now in the AI world, enterprises and branches have the capability to utilize SD-WAN technology, but for large volumes of traffic by reserving the bandwidth uh, and by having predictable latency as well across that network. So really matching up the two, the needs of the new enterprise architecture based in, based in Google and matched up with our direct fiber access, I think is a fantastic piece. We're number one in, in BGP pairing for internet uh, service providers. We have the 22, millions of metro, 22 million miles of metro fiber. We have over 60 million, uh, million miles of inner city fiber as well. We're the largest fiber backbone in the continental US and this partnership makes sense. Obviously, the, the second thing I think you also talk about is latency. Now that we have the best peering and we are almost directly connected to all the majority of the SaaS and cloud applications, there's an element of performance optimized for AI applications, where we can actually offer a much lower latency. One of our customers actually did a testing where we anticipate roughly about 35% lower latency when they're trying to connect to SaaS applications from a global footprint perspective. That's really, really powerful extremely powerful and necessary for both whether you're doing 
AI training and you have your data sharded across multiple data centers or different application zones, or you're doing inferencing. These, the bandwidth control, latency control, redundancy control, and connecting directly to where your applications are running is the critical move that we're making as an internet service provider as well. Having our direct our DFA links into you directly into application zones to make sure that we're mirroring the needs of the applications reflected directly back into the network. So you touched upon this DFA, which is direct fiber access. I think my users will be really interested to know what is this, why is it different than what we are offering today, and how can it actually accelerate the journey and access to Gen AI applications. So what we're innovating with your engineers is the ability to use that metro fiber either dark fiber, groomed waves, ethernet, IP, and private IP, such that uh, there's dedicated bandwidth directly into your cloud. And that also has never been available before in the industry to Google. And what we wanna be able to do is enable an enterprise to say, I wanna take this access link and I want this much dedicated bandwidth directly into the Google Cloud. That hasn't been done before, and we haven't had the protocols, we haven't had the technology, but it's that combination of using a software-defined network or network as a service, in addition to normal routing, that is fundamentally changing the game. Awesome, and will this be limited to 10 and 100 gig, or are we gonna? Well, here's the really, really interesting piece. So, it's commonplace, and even yesteryear, to talk about one gig, 10 gig. Really, what what is exciting about this announcement is that it's now at 100 gig, 400 gig, and we're both prepared to go beyond 400 gig as it's available to 801.6T. That is a fundamentally new game changer for AI workloads and for enterprise transformation of their architecture to be able to work at 400 gig speeds. Wow, this is really interesting. I mean, direct fiber access almost augments what we have as interconnect, which is predominantly IP. It can be private, it can be over any other transport that we have, a direct connectivity without having to go through hops and be able to invest in infrastructure that they might be doing today, either in co-locations or career neutral facilities. The key thing that I want to mention is that generally SaaS applications have been accessed only by the internet, but the fact that you now can have direct access to those SaaS services that, are, that uh, an enterprise is looking for, that is new and different. And that secure, dedicated bandwidth that's been bandwidth engineered, latency engineered, redundancy engineered, again, just hasn't been available in the industry. And I think it's a fantastic move for SaaS, SaaS applications and services to move where I now can have an absolute guarantee of the bandwidth I'm going to get directly into that service. Awesome. That's actually very good to hear. Like SLA backed end to end from your doorstep at a branch, a warehouse, airport, anything. Distribution center, anything. anything. Have it with the best latency and direct connectivity. It's almost like you have your SaaS application sitting in your branch next door. Absolutely the closest you can get. And it's really incorporating, because here's what I'm focusing on. Full, my enterprise customers transforming their IT architectures, transforming their business architectures, which is necessary to meet the economy, both for AI, just the services that are available. DIY, which is what you and I were raised on, that's over. Instead, it's, from my perspective, being a network provider, why does anybody own, manage, and operate their own network when we can do that for them and we can deliver it with a consumption model like network as a service? You brought up a very good point. We talked a lot about connectivity, how we can provide it reliably with much better latency and simple access to almost every application. Network as a service super excites me because that's selling beyond uh, connectivity. What do you mean by network as a service? So in particular, it means that I can use APIs because everything is API first, or I can go into a portal, connect X and Y into the application zones that I want to and dial up that bandwidth immediately. Over time, if I need to, I can increase the bandwidth, decrease the bandwidth, change the parameters that I want to associate with that connectivity, real time, on demand, and in particular where I see this going is that the APIs can be built into workflow managers such that as I'm doing a DR or I'm doing an archive or I'm doing a major event that I need to move a lot of volume, like an AI workload, the APIs can be built directly into this. And second, what I mean by this is really exciting that having Lumen available in the Google Marketplace, such that when somebody wants to dial up a SaaS service from Google and they want that direct DFA, that direct connectivity, that can all be done directly through the Google Marketplace as well. So whatever we were doing in the cloud, or the cloud providers were doing, scale up, scale down, through API-driven, a much more programmable approach, you're almost extending that 
to one of the largest networks in continental USA. Well, I'm taking a page right out of your book, and I'm going to be unashamed about it. I'm trying to make networking as easy to consume and as easy to use and all the services that are available in cloud. It's just been a very long time coming through a lot of innovation and a lot of technology to get to the point where networks can be programmed and operated that way and get the service assurance back out of it to be able to match application assurance and workload assurance and also have the network assurance as directly as a part of that. So this is almost like the best of the two companies coming together, offering the, they're bringing their own IP and intelligence and innovations to make it exciting and make it easier for our customers to actually have and drive the transformation, not only from a cloud perspective, but also from a gen AI application perspective. So my last question for you, uh, Dave, is for joint customers who are actually looking at our video today, what are the three or four things that they can expect for Lumen and Google to bring together that they should be able to consume in a much simple way? So number one, absolutely easy real-time on-demand connectivity to where they want to go, from their prem directly to the cloud. Second, they can increase and decrease that bandwidth and define the latency that they want to be able to get to that cloud with that connectivity. And then third, work directly with us on those APIs between the two companies and develop, develop the new enterprise architecture based on what we're announcing today. And if they want services, they can get a managed NAS network as a service with rich services for all from L2, L3, all the way to L7 services provided by Lumen. Perfect. Wow, thank you, for, thank you Dave. Uh, your endorsement means a lot for our customers and I'm really excited to be working with you and your team. I think there's a lot more uh, as we embark on this journey together. There's a lot more that we will be doing in the future. And uh, really thank you for you, having you here. And thanks a ton, Manitter. It's It's been a joy of mine to be able to work with you again and with the entire team here. And uh, I think this is just the first announcement of many that we're going to have together. Perfect. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, man.